I'm going to show you how to make a Kahoot game. So the very first step you want to take is to go to Kahoot.com and you want to make sure you're not on Kahoot.it because that's actually the link you go to when you want to join a game. So we want to make sure we're on Kahoot.com. Once you get on this page, um, you want to actually go ahead and at the top right, click sign up. Um, if you do already have an account, you can log in, but uh, I'll just sign up for the sake of this video. Um, we can select if you're a teacher, student, personal, or professional. Let's say I just want to do personal. Um, it's going to ask a few more questions about who I want to play Kahoot with. Let's just say friends and family. Uh, it will ask things like my date of birth. I'm just going to put in a random date since this is just for an example. It will ask for a username. I'm just going to press this button for it to automatically think of one for me. I can click continue and then it's going to go ahead and ask for a email and password or I can actually also go ahead and sign in with a few different accounts. So I'm just going to go ahead and continue with my Google account and it'll pop up this window and I can just go ahead and continue with my Google account. Um, I'm going to uncheck this since I don't want to receive any emails or updates from Kahoot, but you can leave that checked if you want. Now, continuing on with this, um, it's going to go ahead and ask if um, it's going to show me a few different uh, paid plans that have their own um, benefits. But I want to just scroll all the way down and actually go to the basic plan. And as you can see, the basic plan is actually free. So I'm just going to go ahead and click continue for free. And now my account is essentially created and I am able to go ahead and be in my Kahoot dashboard. Now to actually go ahead and create the game. I'm going to go to the top right where you can see it says create and just click on that and then I'm going to click Kahoot. Um, I can either use one of the templates that they already have or I can just go ahead and create a new blank Kahoot as you can see here. Um, so the first thing I want to put in is a title at the top left. So I'm just going to put the title as sample quiz one. You can put in a description, add in an image and so on and so forth. And I'm just going to go ahead and click done. And now this is where you can actually go ahead and add all of your questions. So what you want to do is um, at the top where it says start typing your question, that's where you can enter in your first question. So for example, I want to just enter in what planet has the most moons. And now you can go actually go ahead and add in an image or a video or anything of that sort right here if you want. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that blank. And then what you can actually do is start entering in your answers down here. And if you want your answers to have any images associated with them, you can go ahead and click this button next to each of the answer options. And you can go ahead and attach an image as well. I'm just going to go ahead and, and actually, as you can see, it will also pop up with... Uh, some cool sample images if you want to go ahead and add them. But I'm just, again, like I mentioned, I'm just going to try to leave this as simple as possible. And I'll just enter in some options. Earth, Venus, Saturn, and Mars. So we'll just put in a few sample options. And then what we can actually do is click the check mark on whichever option is correct. So for this question, Saturn is the correct option. So I'm going to go ahead and click the check mark here. Now, outside of multiple choice questions, there are actually some other question types that you can pick. As you can see, if you click right up here under question type, you can select a true or false question. You can type in an answer. Um, you can make a puzzle style question, open ended polls, uh, you know, so on and so forth. But uh, a lot of these options that you see that have a star require you to have an upgraded account. But uh, since we do just have a free account, we can use quiz or true and false. So I'm just going to leave this first one as a quiz, which is the multiple choice question. Also, you can change the time limit if you want. Uh, I can put it down to 10 seconds, for example. For the points, you can have specific questions worth double points or some questions worth no points. I'm just going to leave it on standard. And finally, you can either have single select or multi select if you want multiple options to be right. Um, but again, that's a premium option. So we're just going to leave single select on. So now let's say that this is one question that we have. Um, we can actually do is add another question and I want this to be the uh, another quiz type question. So now here I can put in another question just for example and I can say, uh, you know what, let's make this a true or false question and we can actually do, let's do hmm, Hong Kong is the country with the highest life expectancy. And the answer to this, it's, so it'll either be a true or false, and we know the answer to this is true, so we're going to select that. And again, we have the same options of the time limit, as well as if you want double points, no points, or just the standard amount of points. 
And what you can actually do is then go on and, and essentially add in all the questions that you want. Now you can also go ahead and um, change the theme if you want to. Instead of a standard theme, you can go ahead and maybe change it to technology or dark or whatever you really like to. I'm just going to leave it on the standard theme. And while you're also going ahead and editing and adding your questions, you can actually click preview up here to just go ahead and preview what each question is going to look like uh, when it's on someone's screen. So you can see the timer on the left, the answers that would be coming in, and this is exactly how it would look when it was on someone's screen. Um, so let's say we have the two questions here, and let's say that's all we wanted in our Kahoot quiz. We can go ahead and click save. Now we can either test it, play now, or share it with others. Um, what we're going to go ahead and do is just click play now just to see how it looks. Um, again, we want to continue since we just want to keep it in the basic membership. And what we can actually do is just click start. And now this will take us to the page where, um, let's go ahead with classic mode. Um, this is going to go ahead and take us to the page and it's going to tell everyone to join kahoot.it and they can put in this game pin. And essentially they can go ahead and start joining our Kahoot game and continue on with the quiz. So I'm hoping that um, this video was helpful and I'm hoping that it did answer any questions you might have about how to create a Kahoot. If you do still have any other questions, be sure to leave a comment down below and I'll be able to get back to you with an answer. And if you did enjoy this video, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below and subscribe to the channel for more how-to videos.